I'm Rebecca Fryer with Kingstonist News. Today's news is brought to you by Wind Farms Flower Fields, Ontario's longest blooming sunflower farm. Bouquet flowers, sunflowers, ice cream and more. Here's what's making headlines today, August 5th, 2022. Kingston police have arrested and charged 50-year-old Hassan Al-Madani with a number of offenses, including sexual assault, following an investigation into a suspicious white vehicle pretending to be an Uber. Kingston police say they believe Madani is the same suspect involved in both the June 28th and July 3rd incidents where young women were approached, offered a ride, and then sexually assaulted in the suspect's vehicle between 2 and 3 a.m. near downtown Kingston. Kingston police say public tips, GPS data and video surveillance help them piece together more information on the vehicle and the suspect, as well as the suspect's location in relation to the time and dates of the crimes. Police say Madani was arrested and charged on July 28th. For the past three months, OPP say multiple residents in Lennox and Addington County received phone calls from someone impersonating a business in the Odessa area. In a release on Tuesday, August 2nd, police say the female scammer claims to be a secretary of Glenn Lasher Home Comfort Service and uses pressure tactics to coerce victims into scheduling an appointment to have their furnace inspected. Back in April, Glenn Lasher Home Comfort Service warned the public about this scam on Facebook, saying that they do not make these types of marketing calls and to report any contact from such scammers to the OPP. Well, the company says they've been made aware of at least four more calls in July, with one person noting that the calls came from two different GTA-based phone numbers. OPP are looking for other victims who may have received and or booked these services. They ask you to get in touch with them as soon as possible. For more on this story and what to be aware of, check out the full article right now at kingstonist.com. A Deseronto man faces charges of cruelty to animals following an OPP investigation into claims of animal abuse. Police say 39-year-old Adam Hayes of Deseronto was arrested and charged with two counts each of cruelty to animals causing unnecessary pain, suffering and or injury, and failure to provide suitable adequate food, water, care and shelter. OPP say Hayes remains in custody awaiting a bail hearing. The latest unit at KGH to shut down due to COVID-19 is Davies 5. On August 4th, Kingston Health Sciences Center says three patients tested positive for the virus and the unit will now be closed to admissions and visitors for the next 10 days. Many rural branches of the Kingston Frontenac Public Library will now offer themed toy bins for families to enjoy thanks to the Sarah Bagley Literacy Fund. The fund provided uh, the library $500 to develop the toy bins for the Arden, Mountain Grove, Parham and Charbot Lake branches. The library says they carefully selected the toys from the locally owned Kingston store, The Rocking Horse, including vehicles, blocks and finger puppets. For more on these stories and other headlines, or to submit your own news, visit kingstonist.com and become a subscriber today. I'm Rebecca Fryer. Have a great one, Kingston.